Easter is right around the corner, and so it is time to start thinking about how are you going to set your table? Well, I have this really fun idea for a blue and white Easter table that I think you're going to absolutely love. The inspiration for this table started with a simple piece of fabric. So this amazing fabric is called Twall. It's this really fun print, usually in blue and white, but you can see it in tons of different colors, gray and white, black and white, I've seen it in so many different colors. And it's these really fun little scenes sort of all put together in the pattern. My Nana had bolts and bolts of this at her house. I was helping her clean out some stuff. And I was like, can I have a couple yards? So she sent the fabric to me and I was like, all right, this is gonna be my Easter table. But I wasn't really sure what else to do uh, with it. So I had the fabric and then I was actually antiquing with my friend Michael and I turned the corner and there was this entire wall full of blue willow. And blue willow is this really beautiful pattern. It's uh, blue and white and this is actually one of the first patterns ever available on the mass market. This came out around the Victorian era and so it was a nice way for people that didn't have a lot of money to be able to set a gorgeous table in a matching pattern. It was a really interesting technology to be able to reproduce this. It didn't have to be hand painted and so it wasn't as expensive. But regardless of all of that, I absolutely love it. And what's great is this is really something that you can find all over the country and really I think all over the world. Very, very easy to find. Um, but it makes such a great statement on a table. So I found these, I got eight of these. I got them for $3 a piece. Yes, I love a good score. And then I actually also found these linen napkins at a yard sale. The first part to think about was the place setting. So I started with my classic gold charger. I love how the gold and blue and white look together. So beautiful. And then I just put my classic white plates. I love a white plate because they just go with everything. They're the little black dress of your table, I promise you. And then I did the linen napkin. Again, I found these at a, a garage sale and we just folded them in thirds. Uh, I actually tried a couple different ways and I was sending a picture to my friend Doug and he's like, what if you put it under the plate? And I was like, oh, I love that one. I've done it before, but I just wasn't thinking about it. So sometimes when you're doing stuff like this, phone a friend and get a little help. Uh, but I just thought that really turned out well because it just added a nice little pop of blue. And I didn't have to have like another napkin ring because I actually don't have gold napkin rings. So this worked out perfectly. And then the blue willow plate on the top. So the nice thing about this is that one plate really makes everything look cohesive and pull it together. It almost looks like you're using a set even though you're not because that's really the color that people are going to see when they walk in. Um, and then I just did my fork, knife, spoon. I always really tend to add the fork, the knife, and the spoon, regardless if you need them all. I just think it looks nice. It looks like a properly set table and everything looks really balanced and it just makes me feel like everything's right with the world. So I'm putting the knives and the spoons out, okay? Regardless of what we're eating. Uh, and then of course I just put a little wine glass because you know we're gonna have some rosé or some white wine. It'll be a beautiful day. Uh, I forgot to mention that we're actually sitting outside today. Uh, I live in Los Angeles so uh, we have always done Easter out on the deck and even though we're out on the deck doesn't mean I need to use plastic and paper and all that stuff I set a real table so regardless if you're inside or outside you can still set a gorgeous table all right so that's the place setting and then I wanted to think about the flowers oh yes the flowers are definitely the star of this show and I was so excited to partner with Petal Driven to uh, do the flowers they sent me the most incredible hydrangeas, ranunculus, greens. Oh my gosh, so many flowers. So if you need a lot of flowers, I highly recommend you checking out Petal Driven. They send everything directly from the grower. This stuff comes so fresh, it'll blow your mind. It's absolutely incredible. Um, and it was so fun to arrange the flowers. I actually have an entire video just on arranging the flowers that I will link on the description so you can find that and see how all of these arrangements came together. Uh, for the vases of these arrangements, I actually just went to Home Goods. They had blue and white coming out of their ears. So many different things. And I wanted to do different heights. Honestly, I just bought a couple things because I wasn't sure what I wanted. And it all really came together. So I did the really tall vase, the medium, and then the small. 
The tall and the medium I did very similarly, and the small one I did a little bit more delicately. But that way when you're sitting, you can see the flowers at different heights, it looks really good when you walk in the room, uh, and then when you sit, you can really enjoy them as well. And I did two sort of side center pieces instead of one center piece. Because if it was one tower in the center, it'd be hard for you to see the person in front of you. So the way this is done, I know these are really, really tall. You'll be able to see the person in front of you and to the side of you, but you really won't be able to see across. But I'm sorry, I had so many flowers. I had to set this table amazingly i was just excited so you know what you could visit with them later i know the rule is that they shouldn't be higher than blah 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 but rules are meant to be broken and sometimes you just got to set a table and enjoy yourself so that's what we did today i'm just blown away i absolutely love it uh, it makes me excited and the thing is the reason that you set a gorgeous table for your friends and family is to make them feel wanted, to make them feel thought of, to make the event feel special. This isn't to impress people, it's to create a feeling. And trust me, when you turn the corner and walk in and this is your Easter table, you're gonna feel like it's Easter and it's a time to celebrate. And that's why I put so much time and effort and energy and money into a table like this because I wanna create a really beautiful feeling. Uh, not to mention a pretty picture, okay? Another fun detail are these gilded eggs. So these are gold gilded eggs, and the eggs are actually made of wood. I used to see all these DIYs of people like, you know, emptying the contents of the eggs and blowing them and doing all this stuff. I'm like, uh, no. I got these wooden eggs online. They're great. They have a nice weight to them, and that, that way when you do a DIY or something to them, you have them forever. They're not fragile. They're not gonna get broken or lost. I absolutely love it, and it is such a fun, easy activity. Uh, another little detail are these amazing brass chickens. I love these brass chickens. I got chickens, I got roosters, I got everything. And these are actually my bookends in my cookbook uh, library, of course, because they're chickens, why not? And I just, you know, sometimes you gotta shop the house, see what you have. I just love how the gold looks with the blue and the white. I just, it really sets, sets a great tone. And the, they were here. I didn't have to buy them. They were just, you know, floating around the house. So definitely, if you're looking to set a table, go shopping in your house. There are probably things hiding in little cabinets and corners that you never would have dreamed of until you put your color palette together and really know what you're looking for. So for the actual centerpiece of the table, I just did a really low, simple thing. I found uh, these brass quail, which I also had just as a fun accessory around the house. And I put them around this little bowl with a bunch of the eggs in it. So it feels Eastery without feeling like little kid Eastery. This is definitely not a little kid Easter table. This is a Easter table for, for us adults. You know, if you have kids, maybe you could set a pastel fun Easter table over in the corner and you can do the more sophisticated version up here. Um, but whatever you decide to do, uh, I love the little eggs versus bunnies. It's just not my thing. I'm more into the, the chickens and all that kind of stuff. I feel like it just feels more like springtime and all of that. Maybe some year I'll go crazy on bunnies, but this is not the year. Um, so yeah, that is really our table. I think I've gone through every single detail. I hope that you got some really fun inspiration for your own Easter table. And I really wanna see what you guys are up to. So please, 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 if you post a picture of your table, uh, tag me at Theodore Leaf, and, or you could hashtag me, hashtag Theodore Leaf, and then I'll look for it and I will find your table, and I can't wait to see what you guys do. So if you like this table, please give me a thumbs up, and regardless, let us know what you think in the comments section, and I look forward to uh, seeing you all very soon. Thank you so much, and happy Easter. Bye.